Hey guys, it's Opus Emma here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. And today guys, I am back with episode 4 of Sims 3 Tips, where I show you everything you need to know about The Sims 3. And in this episode, this one was a suggested episode by the way, uh, I will have the comment on the screen right now. I'm going to be showing you how to um, speed up your Sims 3 game. This was suggested by someone, I can't remember their name. They suggested me doing this tutorial uh, because their game has been lagging up quite a lot recently and as well showing you how to get teens pregnant which I'm going to do at a later date guys that may be coming in the next three or four weeks I'm not going to take everyone's suggestions well I'm going to take some of your I'm going to take all of the suggestions but uh they're going to come once in a little while so yeah uh, anyway um so yeah I'm going to be showing you how to speed up the, your Sims 3 game um it is there's going to be quite a lot of tips in this tutorial um, the first ones I'm going to show you are in the folder itself without downloading any programs or anything. Uh, you can do some stuff in the folder. And then I'm going to move on to mod and utilities you can download to speed up your Sims 3 game. So uh, yeah, so let's get into this tutorial, shall we? Okay guys, I am going to start off with the stuff you can do in the folder to speed up your game. So we're going to go into electronic art in the Sims 3 here. There's going to be quite a lot we can do. Uh, about 15 or 20 things we can do, well, maybe 5 or 10 here, that we can do quickly. And, you know, some of these tips I would recommend doing all the time, like after you've boot, after you uh, finished playing your game. But, uh, yeah, so, the very first tip I recommend for anyone who wants to speed up your game is to fill the caches. Now, they're not as, it's not a big tip, but it does kind of speed up your game. What I'm going to do right now. And also, if you want to delete social cache, there is five cache files, I believe. If I am correct, yeah, there is five cache files. You should see them. Uh, and what you want to go ahead and do is right click and delete. Uh, there may be even more, depending uh, if you are running an older version of the game, but I recommend deleting all five of those cache files. The next tip I recommend doing is I want you to go into featured items and delete all, like, all the containing uh, things in here. I'm gonna delete them right now. It can speed up your game a bit, guys. Um, I recommend doing these. They're like the two most important tips I recommend doing. Uh, also, uh, this it doesn't always have. You don't have to do this all the time. But delete everything in here uh, from, that you've downloaded from your store content, except for CC merge. That's actually pretty important. Uh, don't delete CC merge, guys. Um, it's supposed to help with your CC. If you delete that, your game is good. So yeah. Uh, the next thing I am going to suggest is to remove your screenshots. So I have a couple here. I was going to show you right now. Uh, there's here's this one. Uh, this one was actually went off of Twitter the other day uh, because my son just had a baby. So uh, the current child, by the way. Uh, I am going to be doing a video with my current household. And you may know, guys, if you don't know yet, if you follow me over on Twitter, uh, I got the Sims 3 pets just the other day, and I was playing around with my current household as well. So what I'm going to do, what I always do, is name them whatever. So I'm going to name them. Baby Alma because that's gonna be her name. Um, Alma, and then I'm just gonna name this somewhere else. Uh, let's just say um, the new um, who, Medina meets her. It's the new puppy. It's the new puppy. Uh, I do do. A, I will plan on doing um, a video on these guys maybe next week or something like that. Uh, or even maybe tomorrow, I don't know. Anyway, what we're going to go ahead and do is I am going to go ahead and cut those out. And what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and put them outside the Sims folder for me. I'm just going to go put it in this directory here. Uh, um, like, dedicated to all my screenshots. So, yeah, I have so much. But, anyway. We're going to go ahead and paste those in. And there we go. So, uh, yeah, that's that tip. The next tip, we're going to go back to our electronic arts folder here. Uh, that... I recommend doing with the folder is to go into if I'm correct world caches I think if I'm correct I wouldn't recommend doing this on Mac I can't remember what tip I don't recommend doing on Mac it breaks your game I believe but I'm not sure what one it is I think it is this one but you want to delete everything in here once in a while like if you have a store content world then this only really applies to store content worlds or custom worlds but delete all everything in here uh, it can actually speed up your game, by the way. Uh, I only recommend doing it once in a while, though. So maybe once a month or something like that. Or maybe once every two or three sim weeks. Um, or after a couple of saves or whatnot. Uh, 
uh, because it does actually slow down your game in some terms so it will take longer to load but however it will speed up your game uh, when you're playing so yeah uh, and then the last one I recommend in here what we can do with the folders to link the thumbnails these two right here um, and this can actually speed up your game but I'm not sure to do delete them uh, because uh, my game has been getting a little uh, my game has been getting a little laggy recently so yeah um, so I'm gonna delete them uh, but yeah that's pretty much that I really don't only really speeds up KAS but you know it will and uh, maybe um, <laughs> build and buy mode but yeah that's all the speed tips uh, you can do with the folder you can end here if you want to but I'm gonna go ahead and move on to tips that require programs or mods or anything. Uh, a lot of these tips are recommended. Oh, yeah, don't 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 worry about that. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and move on to all the tips, and I'll be back to you guys in a second. Okay, guys, I am back, and I am gonna move on to the tips that require programs or mainly mods, actually. But there's gonna be one program here which I'm gonna start off with that will require a program and this is save cleaner now I'm you may see why am I on a different website than the save cleaner website well save cleaner has some issues and there's a form dedicated to this thanks to um someone who posted it here at uh, the link sweet devil she posted the link to uh, version 1.1 because version 2.1 actually has some issues which I'll talk about now in a minute um but what we're going to go ahead and do is you want to go ahead and click download here. Uh, go click download and uh, yeah. But yeah, uh, I downloaded 1.1 because 2.1 doesn't work for me. But yeah, just to give you an idea what to do. Uh, it just opens. Uh, there we go. Okay, but what you want to go ahead and do is you want to go ahead and go to uh, your sims, uh, wherever you have stored it. For me, I just have my utilities and saves and run save cleaner. It will be in a folder, I believe, when you download it. I haven't downloaded it for quite a while, but again, once you, what you want to go ahead and do is launch it. You'll see this program here. It may actually, uh, OneDrive may come up depending on what version of Windows, and it will lead you to your save folder. Go to your save folder in your sims feed directory, and oh yeah, this is what I talked about. This may come up. Don't worry about that though, so yeah. Um, but what you want to go ahead and do is you want to go ahead and click on a save you want to clean. For me, I'll say it's just Hulk 1, for example and click this file right here open and then just say start cleaning i'm not going to do it right now um but yeah it'll give you an idea how to do that the next tip i have for anyone who plans to run the sims 3 or this one the next ones are really going to be mods there's going to be one more mod from up the sims so i'll talk about it in a minute but the next one i recommend is the amras overwatch mod this is one of the most recommended mods ever for the sims 3 uh, I showed you how to install mods in my last tutorial, so go ahead and check that out. I have a link in the description or in an annotation on screen right now or at the end of the video. But uh, yeah, I'll show you how to do that. Uh, but anyway, uh, what Overwatch does is it pretty much just gets rid of all the rubbish in game around 3 a.m. every day. So it's very useful. I use it personally, and I recommend you download it for anyone who, you know, just download it because it's a good mod, okay? And it does speed up your game quite a bit. Um, the next mod I recommend, whoa, my phone. Yeah, my friends are texting me. That's why I do not want to use Chrome because uh, I haven't learned how to blur out stuff yet. Uh, but yeah, the next mod I recommend, I'm just gonna close that out, but yeah, make sure you download the right version. There is a version available for 1.67, 1.69, and you also have older versions as well. But anyway, next is Master Controller. And um, now we're gonna be using this for a later tip, which I'll show you at the end of the video. But uh, yeah, um, what does this does? It does quite a lot. It does. It's very powerful. I will be doing tutorials with Master Controller, by the way, but not now. I want to get some of the more common ones out of the way. So uh, yeah. Uh, anyway, um, we're gonna use this for one tip, which I'll show you a little later on at the end of the, the oh, sorry the tutorial. Um, but yeah, that's what we're gonna need. I also recommend downloading all the other modules, like the cheese module, for example. I will recommend it because you're gonna need that for quite a lot of tutorials. I'll be teaching you in the future. So. Yeah. Next is Aero Trap. This is kind of goes with my Overwatch I showed you earlier. What it does is get rid of all the errors and all that sort of stuff. And uh, yeah. Um. Anyway, uh, th that's what Aero Trap does. I use it personally, and uh, yeah, it's a very good mod. Make sure you download the right version though. Uh, that goes with your game patch. There's two versions. 
1.69 and 1.67. I'm running 1.69, so I would download 1.69. But if you're running 1.67, you download the one for 1.67. It will say at the top, like the bottom left of the launcher. So go to the launcher and see what version uh, your game is running. The next tip I recommend, or the next mod actually I recommend, is Saber. Now I use this, and you may have seen uh, those saves there. They were numbers in 1 to 4. Well, this is what it does. You, uh, it will ask you to save about every 30 minutes into your game. And it will ask you um, what to name it. Now, let's just say save one, for example. So you save it as save one. And then about 30 minutes later, it will come up and ask you to save it as save two, save three, and save four. I'll go in a cycle of four saves. And I recommend this because it does a pretty good job. And especially, you're going to get quite a less, it will take um, less time to load your game. Uh, especially in four saves, so you know, I would recommend downloading. Just make sure you number it. Uh oh, I thought I forgot about this. <laughs> oh, that's silly me. Um, that was weird of me. Oh, yeah, that's the bad bit. I had to use ask. Uh, whoopsies. Uh, anyway, whatever. Um, whoa, sorry. Uh, yeah, I, anyway. What I meant is the next mod uh, that I recommend is register. Register, I use this personally. Uh, myself um, but what I do with it pretty much it kind of uh, cleans up all the NPCs that are working behind the cash registers and all that I've noticed it's a good mod I recommend downloading it I'll have a link in the description I like all the mods I and all that sort of stuff I recommend in the description very good mod by the way and I recommend you download it the last mod though I recommend downloading it I sh it is in the mod folder that I talked about in the last video but uh, this is a better version of it. And this is the NROS, uh, not NROS, sorry. Uh, <laughs> it's all about the synth, but it's no intro with Max's logo. And I use this mod personally. I'm going to have a link in the description. Just make sure you remove the no intro uh, that came with the mod folder that I showed you in the last video. Just make sure you remove, remove that and replace it with this. This is a good mod. It actually skips the intro screen, which the other mod does. But... In addition, it skips in Max's logo, which is a good thing. Um, but yeah, I'm going to have a link in the description as well to this mod. It kind of just gives you some more valuable seconds. And it pretty much just speeds up your game altogether. So I will have a link to it in the description. But yeah, guys. So I'm now going to go into game for the very last tip. And it's to show you what I do. Um, it's pretty much with Master Controller. This was actually recorded earlier, by the way, because the other clip didn't record for me for some reason. I don't know why it didn't, but yeah. Anyway, I will be back to you guys in a sec once I'm in game showing you the last tip. So I'll see you then. Okay, guys, I am finally going to show you the very last tip um, with Master Controller. I will save him for the end. This tip is going to be very useful because let's say if you have a, a sim or whatnot, uh, it would work. I actually want to just turn down the sound of my headset. I just noticed. Whoops. Uh, yeah, let me just turn this down. Uh, okay. Sorry about that. Uh, anyway, that's better. <laughs> Sorry about that. Anyway, what I meant is um, that we were going to go ahead and show you what I meant. And uh, it's going to be very useful. So, uh, yeah, let's do this. So, I'm going to go ahead and place my sim in this tower B place. Why right not? And uh, I'll, I'll just show you what I mean. So. Yeah, so this is actually 2016 Sunset Valley, by the way, the world I'm playing in. I'm going to leave a link to it in the description. So we'll modify Sunset Valley and just made a much more modular. It looks very nice, by the way. I would recommend checking it out. It, it does run a little slow, but hey, with the tip I'm going to show you guys, you know, it should be fine. I've always done it yesterday, so I can't exactly tell you if it runs 100% slow. But anyway, this will take a second to load. Um, we're going to go ahead and we're just going to go to this, this, yes, yes, and yes. Uh, yes, and you can see here. Let's just have a look at this apartment block. Uh, we have some. This one's a very nice apartment we've got. Yeah, this is very nice. We've got one of the better apartments in town for sure. Some nice, like there's a bedroom in there. And, you know, you have two bedrooms. This is not bad at all. But what I'm actually gonna show you is that the trick um, that I actually wanted to show you. So we're gonna go over to City Hall. I believe it's over here somewhere. Yes, it's over here. And I'm going to just show you what I mean. So what you want to go ahead and do is click on City Hall. Go to NRAS. Go to Master Controller. The mod we installed earlier. I talked to it earlier. And go to Town. And then after that, you want to go ahead and click Reset Everything. And say yes. This will be very useful specifically if you're in a current household and it gets very, very laggy. 
There we go. It just takes now Mario will take two minutes or three minutes to reset. But because we're in a new world, it'll just take us a couple seconds. So yeah. Anyway, guys, I hope this tutorial was actually very useful. Sorry I didn't explain it the best, but I hope I did a pretty good job of explaining it to you guys. If you have any concerns or any suggestions for any other tutorials, uh, I'll put them in the description. But yeah, guys, I hope you did enjoy this tutorial. I hope it was very helpful. Please do like, comment, and subscribe. I hope you have a good day. And I will see you in my next Sims 3 Tips video. Goodbye.